Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Vail. We finna get straight into it, man. I don't wanna waste nobody's time here. Um, I feel like one of the best ways to actually improve in Call of Duty, and one of the things that's actually helped me is by studying the best players in the game. And Skump is still, to this day, one of the best players I have seen. He's very consistent, and he actually does things that other people can do. Now, obviously, he has some skills that you probably can't replicate, but a lot of his play style is really knowledge-based. And then the way he does it so seamlessly and smooth, that's what we're going to be going over. I'm going to be showing you all key things that I actually saw him do that's helped me improve. And it's, it's so simple. Like, once you actually learn to break it down and see exactly what he has going on, and it's like he'll, ch he'll chat, entertain the stream. He does it effortlessly. But look at this. This is just map knowledge. He knows exactly where they're going to be coming from. And look at look at how the look at the fact that he doesn't over abuse movement. Look at this. He's going to do simple slides. He's going to do a simple slide and not over abuse movement. Cuz cuz just too much movement, it's not good for anybody. He he does simple slides. And then he pre-fires a lot too. And the only way you can pre-fire the way that he does is if you have map knowledge, mini map awareness and things like that. You have to know where the enemy's at. Now, like I mean, he, he they some people say that he has like uh special privileges because He's famous, so they know he's really that good, and you could get banned if you just start pre-firing. But, I mean, if you know exactly where the enemy's supposed to be spawning, pre-firing it, there's nothing wrong with it. Look at this. Simple slides, and then he waits. Simple slide, wait. Look at this. And look at how he's always in position. And he's chilling. He knows exactly where the enemies are going to come from. And even when he slide, he's sliding from one piece of cover to the next piece of cover, and then he's ready. His 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 sights, notice how his, his sights is always at chest level. So he's centering. Like, it's basically perfect centering at every every turn. And then he's pre-fires. He's pre-firing this. So, yeah, if you, if you actually just analyze some of the best players in the world, you will realize... The things that they do is very simple, and it's a, a lot of this is just based around map, map knowledge. When you know where the enemies are spawning, it's very simple to just stay in position. Look at this. He, he does simple slide, back, forth, back, back, look, forth, look, you know? And then, I mean, he just got he just got gunned right there. Cer certain types of gunny you just can't do nothing with. Now, it's, it's harder to get back into that zone after you die. Because when you first start off, you have full control. You, you've you seen everything that's going on. You have control. When you die, now you're jumping back in, so you have to retake that control. So this is this is what we're witnessing him do right now. See, still the simple slides. Simple slide. Slide that he can control and still lock his aim right on. Uh-huh. Look at that. So now he's just whiffing shots. And that's why that's why I don't pull out nades. I don't I don't like nades, man. Um I don't like nades at all. So yeah, and 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 by the way, this game, he's actually going up against a bunch of ninth and tenth prestiges and stuff like that. So these these are not I mean, they're 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 casual players for him, but yeah, as you can see, he's talking to the chat, not really paying attention. It, this is stuff that he does instinctively. That's just like he does the same simple slide. He's always ready to shoot. He knows exactly where they're going to be coming from. Pre-fire and smoke in the areas that they should be in. And this this literally helps you improve your aim. It helps like map awareness is a cheat code. Now like, you can't do nothing around that. Somebody check he, they they like checked, backed up, and then just came around the corner shooting. Nothing you can you can do in that situation really. Okay, look at that. He trying to shoot somebody off a head glitch. That I mean, hey, look at that pre-firing through walls. <laughs> so really, what Scump does is he just abuses. He abuses map knowledge, like just map knowledge. He 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 goes for everything. Sometimes it works out, sometimes it don't. But he's just pre-firing where they should be. He knows exactly where they're supposed to be, and he pre-fires it. He pre-fires it, and then he guns them. So he's always really prepared for enemies. But sometimes over pre-firing, and, and, and obviously he's not focused like this is a tournament or something, over pre-firing can land you in situations like he's getting in where he'll be shooting at nothing or shooting through smoke and somebody will just pop up and gun you. Like, you don't want to um, get yourself in that situation. But also he's not 100% focused because he is trying to entertain 
a stream here, so you have to take that into um take that into consideration. Like look at this, pre-firing through smoke, like and and people would think that oh look look at how he killed me. How do he know he's hacking? When really we saw him pre-fire the whole game. It took him what like we're like five minutes in, and that he's that's the first pre-fire kill he's gotten. He just pre-fires every single time, and one of those times you're going to kill something. So yeah, that's why it looks like it may look crazy coming across a player like this, but if he, he does the exact same thing every single time. And this just goes to show you, like you keep doing it, it's going it's going to eventually work out. But obviously you have to um be a little bit more polished, you know, so you don't, you know, and, and look at the stuff he's talking about. Like he's talking about random stuff. Let's actually let's listen to some of the um gameplay and what he's actually talking about right now. Mr. Scotty, thank you, Huevos. Huevos Trancheros, thank you. Snoop, thank you for the prime. Enemy harp operational above. Losing Bravo. Priming Simtex. Fuck me. Yep, you guys weren't wrong. These uh these lobbies got a little bit uh <laughs> these lobbies got a little bit oh got a little bit harder after those couple hundred bombs. <laughs> he dropped a couple hundred bad. bombs. Yeah, so he he dropped a couple of hundred bombs on stream, and now he's in harder lobbies. But yeah, you're you're gonna see him actually adapt. He's still playing the same play style, but he has to focus up more and actually adapt to what's going on right now. So yeah, like, which is gonna rock out. Like I've pointed out already exactly what Scump is doing and how his flow hasn't really changed and what he's doing hasn't really you know he does he's doing the same thing over and over again. So let, let's let's hear him out. Let's watch the rest of the gameplay so you all can actually see him in action doing these things over and over. Part one lacking. Commencing OBJ capture. Oh, fuck me, dude. Those are the worst thing in the game right there. Those little stupid mines. Worst thing in the game. They should have... Did they nerf... Did they nerf those? Yo, this guy just said he's in my... In the stream. Come take me hostage. Should I go take this motherfucker hostage? <laughs> Dang. Look, he turned up. <laughs> oh, he got fucking sniped by my teammate, bro. Uh, yo, my teammate just fucking ripped him. Yeah, you can see him lock in. Lock in every now and then. Oh, here he is. I'm on your side. No, no, no. Turn around. No. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you turn towards me, bro? Turn around. Don't look me in the eyes. <laughs> he said, don't look me in the eyes. It's crazy work. Oh, no. Don't look me in the eyes before we make love. Oh, no. Oh, man. That's awesome. All right, here we go. There we go. <laughs> Twizzy's getting banged against out of service. Yeah, Twizzy, your ass is out of service. Slam. Thanks for letting me assassinate oh, you, buddy. Okay, I don't know what. Appreciate it. I don't know what we just got into. This just turned like real X-rated real quick. Oh my god, this kid is in ninth prestige, bro. Oh my god. Man's is sweaty over there. This guy's grinding. Holy shit. He never turned that game off. And as you can see, Scump is really not even paying too much attention right now. He's just chilling, kind of vibing out. Enemy UAV this guy's going back and forth. He's got us in the Nuketown special right now. <laughs> well, we're going to play this page. Come on. Oh, shit. Hey. This is Nuketown special. <laughs> So yeah, he, he's doing his same simple slides, 
Simple flow. I mean, I guess I just, this might just be an up top game. Fuck it. <laughs> oh, picked the wrong way. Fuck me, brother. Unemployment lobby? You guys think they're they're unemployed? Going crazy? He said the unemployment lobby is crazy. I mean, ninth prestige. That is kind of crazy. Ain't nothing wrong with that. A little time off. You guys call me part timer. A little time off. A little game action. Nah, ninth prestige. There's no reason to be ninth prestige. Is. Peace, Objective Security. capture in progress. Just getting it done. Security okay. Early. Hey, I'm pretty sure the white suit is Bro, the no. Duran, what is the ninth prestige. I mean, seriously. They're moving. Catch it up. Control of Bravo. That's a dirty one, brother. Take your Bravo underway. Lock it down, Charlie. We can still win this game. I need, I need the boys to hop on this shit. Losing A. Yup. Hold on. Oh, Omar just said, "Fuck you, scump." That's not very cash money out of Omar, is it? That aim was crazy. That's not very cash money out of you, Omar. Sure how you didn't get that one. UAV commencing surveillance operation. Did he find his same little groove and just stick to it? And when he focus up, <laughs> look at this. When he focus up, it's just deadly, bro. Like when, as soon as they get a flow. I like hear get in that zone, get in that mode, and it's over with for him. And it's just using the same things from the and beginning. Like, be GG, I think, folks. Think he's focusing up. Impossible. Let it sing. Losing Bravo. GG. Flick nuts, Omar. Yo, chill out on my boy. <laughs> Do I pop double XP? That was Omar. Was that? Yo, chill out on my boy. Well, he got 74 eliminations. He got 74 eliminations just casually there, you know, destroying. It's crazy. It's crazy how he racked up them kills that quick. But, yeah, that just goes to show you, like, he didn't really switch up strategies too much. He did try to go up top a little bit. He did try to change things. But all he did was that same flow. When he was running and gunning, sliding, doing that same little slide, he was getting two pieces, three pieces. A lot of times he was doing it. Like, it's the same thing. He just repeated it. And use his map knowledge like that. That's really all that they did to get this W. So, yeah, that being said, hopefully this video was helpful. Hopefully you got to analyze it with me and see some of the things that I look at that helps me kind of implement this stuff here and there and improve. But, yeah, there we have it, Joe. Um, be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more content like this. And, yeah, I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, fam.